Known as a disease of poverty, schistosomiasis is the second most common neglected tropical disease. The World Health Organization reports that the annual death toll from schistosomiasis is around 200,000, with 27 million becoming infected every year. There are currently 240 million infected individuals worldwide, with 700 million living in endemic areas. 91% of cases of schistosomiasis occur within the continent of Africa and the country most affected by this disease is Nigeria, with about 29 million infected people, 16 million of which are children. Transmission occurs by a parasitic fluke worm, known as a schistosome, which lives in freshwater causeways. After using a snail as an intermediate host, the parasite then penetrates the skin of a nearby human, and once the human is infected, they can spread around 3,500 eggs a day through bodily waste. The top-down approach is one that focuses on large organizations, then proceeds to become more specific until work is being done on the community and individual levels. To use this approach in Nigeria, it is essential to begin on the global stage. The WHO and UN, among other organizations, are established to deal with diseases like schistosomiasis. Alerting these entities to the severity of the situation leads to interaction with the Nigerian government and the formation of policy. The government then enacts and enforces policy and forms groups to deal with the parasite. These groups of professionals are then commissioned to work with the affected communities. The people necessary to deal with schistosomiasis using a One Health perspective come from every discipline. Lawyers, businessmen, and politicians are needed to devise plans to enact change, such as targeting the fecal-oral route of transmission by commissioning civil engineers to build facilities to properly dispose of human waste, employment of teachers to educate the populace about the disease, and allowing medical professionals to treat individuals. Biologists of every kind will help with monitoring the disease in the ecosystem with the help of the community members themselves. For this health problem, it's also important to use a bottom-up approach where we start at the community level and take it up to the government level. We begin by identifying the challenges that are facing the community in Nigeria regarding this disease. To tackle the problem, we need to involve the right stakeholders to help us understand and communicate with the local community, building connections with the community and meeting their needs so that they are able to collaborate with their local district in the future is the goal. Now we're ready to reach out to professionals to help us investigate this disease, such as microbiologists, water disease specialists, CDC, WHO, and the NGOs. The last step of the bottom-up approach entails involvement of the government, to tackle the disease. plan to prevent further outbreak of schistomiasis in Nigeria, we face some challenges that can be addressed with proper solutions. With such a large population that possesses the risk of being infected, managing the disease will require copious amounts of effort which can be difficult with limited resources. As we try to reduce the infection in people and eliminating the snails that are intermediate hosts, the chemicals used may also affect other animals in that area, which can be detrimental to the environment. However, we can prevent close contact between the parasite and the humans through enforcing the use of closed toed shoes, increased access to groundwater supplies, and effective sanitation methods. Another challenge would be the affordability of the medicine Praziquantel, since the majority of Nigeria lives in extreme poverty. Working with Nigerian nonprofits, charities, and NGOs to effectively distribute and organize affordable medication through open clinics, building rural hospitals, and providing transportation for villages far from medical services can help eliminate this challenge. Another challenge would be the cultural differences between us and the Nigerian population. Relating to and understanding the local needs through the use of local translators and respecting cultural norms will help us effectively implement our plan. The primary goal of our communication plan is to develop messages that will promote a one health response to this issue. Our approach can be broken down to four categories. The first one is availability. Using radio, internet, newspaper, and television to share information and reach different audiences. Next, building trust. Ensuring information accuracy, transparency, and working with other organizations that the community is familiar with. The third category is demonstrating relevance. Involving individuals who understand the social demographics and cultural beliefs of the community in order to strategically plan our messages. Lastly, we have clarity. Providing information that is easy to understand, such as diagrams to depict pathogen pathways. When approaching the problem of outreach, we need to focus on three aspects. Authorities, stakeholders, and community members. For government, it will be important to encourage the provision of clean water and sanitation facilities, especially within impoverished communities, as use of river water, ponds, and lakes is heavily relied upon for survival. Two major stakeholders are the WHO, as they encourage authorities to adopt programs aimed at eliminating schizosomiasis, and the Bill Gates Foundation, who have started the SCI. The WHO's shift towards elimination instead of containment along with the SEI's providing of donations for drugs, will eventually eradicate the disease from this region. 
Finally, establishing health education programs aimed at promoting community awareness of the disease and available treatment options will aim to break down cultural barriers that prevent members from actively participating in treatment and adopting safe practices.